breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. IPOB accuses security agencies of masterminding Uber as a bogus attack. IPOB accuses security agencies of masterminding Uber as a bogus attack. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The indigenous people of Biafra, like Bob yesterday, accused the federal government of Nigeria of being responsible for the failed assassination of Senator Ifiai Uba and Chris Azebogu. Senator Luba and Azbogu are representing a number of South Senatorial District and Nnewi North, South and Equisigo Federal Constituency, respectively in the National Assemblies. IPOB also named the Department of State Services, DSS the Nigerian Army. Nigerian Police Sequel Squad, including SARS, STS, IRT, and people it described as few treacherous politicians and their sponsored gangs as masterminds in the attacks. A statement by IPOP's Media and Publicity Secretary, Ima Powerful, entitled the federal government of Nigeria responsible for the failed assassination of Senator Ifiai Uba and Chris Azubogo also said that the intention of the Nigerian federal government was to use the assassination of the two prominent Igbo politicians to blackmail IPOP and Eastern Security Network ESN. IPOP statements read, We, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, under the command and leadership of the great liberator, Mazi Unamdekanu, again condemn all the state-sponsored attacks and killings going on in Anambra in Biafra territory. IPOB wishes to state unequivocally that those responsible for the criminal activities have a mission to blackmail IPOB and ESN operatives. The recent attacks on a number of politicians, namely Senator Ifiai Uba and House of Representatives member Chris Azubogo were masterminded by DSS in collaboration with other security agencies to heighten the insecurity in Biafra land. The attacks on high-profile individuals, especially politicians, in the Southeast is part of their blackmailing gimmicks against IPOB and ESN. It is another deceptive way to attract global attention so as to justify their premeditated launching of full military assault on innocent Biafrans. The Nigerian security agencies coordinated those high profile attacks in, in, in tandem with a few treacherous politicians and their sponsored gangs. The attacks were the numerous ways Nigerian government is working hard to blackmail and demonize IPOP for seeking legal referendum, but we will continue to expose them.
we have trusted intelligence officers in our M branch who always nip their nefarious plans to activities in the board. Till date, Nigerian government has not come up with any investigation or report regarding the attacks on those politicians because it is difficult to produce concocted reports against IPOB as usual. Nigerian government and its security agencies knew they were behind the devilish attacks on those Igbo politicians and that is why they refused to carry out any investigation. Reputation internationally but the good Lord has helped us defeat all their blackmail for years. Why has Nigerian government and its security agencies refused to make public what happened to their colleagues at Umunze in Anambra State last week? The killing of the soldiers in Anambra State last week was another state-sponsored attack to implicate IPOB and ESN. A desperate government of Nigeria is willing to sacrifice some soldiers, lives just some soldiers' lives just to blackmail IPOB and have a reason to disobey UN working group order to release our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu. Our intelligence unit, the end branch, intercepted them, planning and carrying out these heinous crimes in our territory to implicate ESN and IPOB volunteers. The Nigerian federal government sponsored some state governors, particularly those of Eboi and Imo State, to kill their constituent. As if their political slaves are not doing enough to heighten the insecurity in the southeast. They have now metamorphosed into using Nigerian security agents to carry out these attacks. To my dear listeners, now I've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what you